Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. It's that time of the year again where I predict the AFL ladder for the season and ultimately get it all wrong again. But I am here for it. I'm here to do this. A few months ago, I made a video predicting the AFL season, sort of. I didn't do a ladder, but I predicted basically one thing that each team would do. Apart from Sydney Essendon, those two teams I didn't do really a specific thing for. But the other 16 teams, I said one thing each team would do. So I made a ladder based on that. I made a ladder based on those predictions, like the crazy man I am, instead of thinking too much about it. Because the last few years, I've been thinking too much about, about my predictions and I've got it wrong. So maybe if I mess around a bit more, have a bit of fun, I might do better. I don't know, we'll see. Either way, I'm sure you guys will disagree with some predictions. You agree, you, you agree with other predictions. Like I don't think any of you have the same ladder as me. So, you know, we'll have disagreements, but if you disagree, Tell me down below, tell me why I'm wrong, and also tell me your predictions, your ladder predictions. But just remember, don't get them wrong, all right? No silly predictions from you guys, because if you make those, you, my friends, will make a very special list, all right? I'm watching you. Those of you who've been here the last few years, you know what I'm talking about. If you're new, then you'll find out, okay? None of you are safe. Nobody's safe. Nobody is safe. Anyway, yeah. Let's see how many of these I get right. In 18th place, I have North Melbourne. Um, now, this is not because I support Hawthorne, okay? I do support Hawthorne, of course. But I've just got a feeling that North will get the spoon this year. They almost got it last year. And it's a new season, you know? They could improve a lot, you know? Teams change drastically. Look at Melbourne. They were in the finals. They're in the prelim. The next year, I finished 17th. So you never know what could happen. Crazy things could happen. There's always teams that surprise you. So North could surprise us. A couple years ago, they were pretty good, you know? They were nearly in the finals. And then they just went on a free fall. And this time, I predict them to finish last, but again, could be wrong. Could be wrong, but we'll see. In 17th, I have the Sydney Swans, another team that I think will also do quite badly this year. Again, I could be wrong, you know? I'm trying to save myself here, to, basically, if I get it wrong. But no, seriously though, I don't think they'll do that well. I don't think they'll be anywhere near the finals. I just don't see it. I just don't see them competing for the finals this year. So I haven't quite low down. 17th is probably really harsh, but I'm gonna keep them in 17th. I think it's realistic, it could happen. And I think at best, they'll finish like 14th. But 17th is where I got them right now. In 16th place, I have Hawthorne, my own team. Did this to myself. In that prediction video I mentioned, I said that Adelaide would not be in the bottom three. So I'm sticking to my guns. I'm not putting Adelaide in the bottom three, so <laughs> I'm going to have to put Hawthorne down there, so uh, yeah, look, I, I am not very hopeful about Hawthorne. Um, in the preseason game, obviously, we beat North Melbourne, and that was nice, but that's pre-season. It's only pre-season, and we, it was North Melbourne as well, who I think will finish last, so that comes into play. But still, I just, it's hard for me to be confident right now, considering the way the club has gone the past few years. It's hard to be confident, but I really, really hope I'm wrong. But, you know, if we do better, it won't be that much better. It won't be finals better. It will be like, you know, 13th, 12th, maybe at a push. But I don't see us getting anywhere near the 8th. Not this year anyway. So yeah, 16th is uh, very low. And I hope I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong. I don't want to see us lose most weeks. But <laughs> I, I, there's enough pain watching all our set shots go flying wide, okay? Uh, <laughs> how much more can I take? I support Arsenal as well, so you know, it's just constant pain all year round. But yeah, Hawthorne in 16th. 15th place, I have Adelaide. Mainly because I predicted them not to finish in the bottom three. Done myself in there with that one, but <laughs> I don't think they'll do that well this year. And 15th is where I got them. 14th place is Essendon. Again, another team who actually play good football, but I don't think they'll do well this season. I think they'll do worse than last year. Where did they finish last year? I've forgotten now. Did they just miss out? Way lower than that. Anyway, I don't think they'll do well this year. I, I, I just don't think they will. I got a feeling they won't do well. But again, I could be wrong. In 13th place, I got the Gold Coast Suns. Um, in that video I mentioned, I said that they would do better than the previous year. And I think that's in terms of wins as well. But I think 13th is actually possible for them. Again, um, just like the rest of the teams that I mentioned already, 
they won't be anywhere near the finals. But they'll look good in certain games, I think. I think they'll win a good amount of games and they're not going to go much further than they have last season. But they'll they'll do all right. They'll be all right. They'll be in the middle of the bottom and the finals. You know, they'll be like, okay. They're not going up. They're not going down. They're just okay. They're doing okay. They're just here for the ride. All right. Gold Coast in 13th. In 12th place, I have Carlton. I'm pretty sure I said they did better as well. Um, and I put them 12th. But <laughs> I had to put people, I had to put other teams somewhere. Um, Carlton, I think, will compete for the finals. But I don't think they'll make it. They'll be one of those teams that just miss out. So in that, we're in that territory now. The territory that misses out in the finals just doesn't make it. Carlton, I have in 12th place. In 11th place is, free, is Fremantle. Fremantle. I, I keep pronouncing it wrong. Fremantle. Okay. I'm aware they're improving. I'm, I'm aware they look good. But I don't trust them yet. They're, they're not a trustworthy team. They lose games you think they'll win. They win games you think they'll lose. They pull off some crazy wins, but they also pull off some bad losses. They're not the most consistent team out there, is what I'm saying. <laughs> kind of remind me of Arsenal sometimes. But, yeah, I just, I don't trust them. I don't trust them. There are some people who think they'll do really well, but I don't trust them. At this point, I don't trust them, but I have them in 11th, just missing out on the 8th. On the 8th. In 10th place, I have the GWS Giants. A team who I think will again miss out on the 8th. Could be wrong, but <laughs> I said it in the prediction video, so I'm going to stick with it. I think it's very possible, and I'm going to say it happens again this year. They'll miss out on the 8th. They'll be back. They will be back, just not this year. They will be, they will be back, maybe next year. But this year, they'll miss out again. In ninth place, I have Melbourne. Just missing out on the finals. A another painful season for them, I think. Not as bad as 17th, but it'll be like 2017, where they just missed out on the final day. I think they'll be ninth. I can't hope I'm wrong though, because I do like Melbourne. I love Frio as well, so I hope I'm wrong about them as well. But yeah, Melbourne, GWS, Frio and Carlson, I think will miss out on the finals by a few points, maybe percentage, who knows? We'll see how close it is come the end of the season. In eighth place, just making the finals, I have St Kilda in eighth and the Western Bulldogs in seventh. These are two teams that I feel will only just, by an inkling, make the finals. Very similar to last year, there were 6th and 7th I think though, and not 8th, not but not 7th and 8th, but they'll be around those positions, and yeah, I think they will definitely, uh, not definitely, but I think they'll make it, only just, only just, but they'll make it, Saints in 8th, Western Bulldogs in 7th, in 6th place I have the West Coast Eagles, yes, I said they would be back, and they will be back, okay. They will be back, all right? You, you'll see in, when the finals come around, you, you, you'll see a much improved Eagles team. <laughs> we'll see. I've, I've got them in sixth, which is not the most uh, advantageous position, aside from the first week. But, you know, I've got a feeling about them. Maybe not premiership winners. You know, that's possible too, of course. But I've got a feeling about them. Just a little feeling. Might be a bad feeling. No, it's, it's a good feeling. Just I might be wrong. But... Got a feeling I'll do something special this season for sure. But I got them in sick, which is quite low down for a team I think will do well. But yeah, I'll keep them there. In fifth place, I have Port Adelaide. Last year's minor premiers. I think they'll have a point to prove this season. And I think they'll be once again in the eighth. And uh, in the finals, I think they'll be out to prove a point, especially after what happened last year in the prelim. But they did well last year. You know, minor premiers got to the prelim. It's, it's not a bad season. You know, it's, it's a big improvement from the previous seasons. And they're looking much stronger now for sure. And that finals experience, I think, will do them a world of good. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're doing this season. And I think they'll be pretty strong. But this time, they'll be fifth. Not first. They'll be fifth. In fourth place, I have Collingwoods. They had a disappointing season last year, to say the least. I think they will be back. They will be back strong, determined. But we'll see how they do. You know, for all we know, they'll choke again. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. You know, they're a good team to watch when they're at their best. But they're not always at their best, especially last year. But I think this year they'll be more consistent. And they won't be just making the eight. They'll be in the top four this time round. I could be wrong. As you said, as you said it's every two minutes. I, actually, I think I've done that. In third place, now this is more of a superstition, is the Richmond Tigers. All right. So they have won... Three of the last four premierships, 2017, 
2019 and 2020. Now, if you want, you can Google the ladder in all three seasons. Richmond were third in all three seasons. And in my prediction video, I said they did a three-peat. So it's only fair that I put them third again because their three premierships in the last four years, they've, all, they've finished third all three times. That is a crazy coincidence. But also, because I think the three people will happen this year, I'll put them third again. Okay, that's the only reason, literally the only reason I put them third. Okay, there's no other reason for it. It's literally just that they finished third and won the premiership three times in the last four years. There's something freaky about that. So I'm going to say to do that again. <laughs> Even freakier. But we'll see. Imagine that happens again though. That's, that's actually crazy. Even doing it three times is crazy. Finish in the same position. And then win the premiership anyway. That's actually mad. That's, that's actually... That's, that, has that been done before? Like, has there ever been a dominant team that's finished third every single time they won the premiership? That's, that's, like, that, that's a ridiculous stat. Anyway, yeah, moving on. In second place are the Brisbane Lions. Again, superstition. Is, it, is that even the right word to use? I don't even know. But the last couple of years, they finished second. So I'm going to have them second again. Second again. In my prediction video, I said they, do, they go one better again. So the, a couple of years ago, they finished second. They lost two finals. Last year, they finished second, won a final, lost a final. So this year... They'll finish second, win two finals, lose the grand final, okay? They're going one better, but also losing, but they're working their way towards the premiership, okay? Next year, there's my theory. I'm not gonna make a video about it, but there's, there's my theory, yeah? Next year, Brisbane are premiers, all right? Write it down, put one pound on it, put, put one Aussie dollar on it, but don't put your fortune on it, okay? Don't trust me on that. But you, if you have a, if you have a spare dollar to spare, just put it on Brisbane, 2022 Premiership, okay, it's happening. They're going one better each time, okay? And they'll finish second again next year, next time in the Premiership. But this year, they'll finish second and lose the Grand Final, okay? There's my Brisbane prediction. In first place, I have Geelong. So yeah, there we go. Um, again, no big reason. I just think they'll do well this season, but do badly in the finals. So that's my, that's my uh, thinking of Geelong. Thinking of Geelong, that's not the right, right wording. That is what I think Geelong will do. They will have a great season and, they'll, and then they'll lose in the finals. That is my prediction for Geelong. So yeah, not much of an explanation there, but that's what I think will happen. And I could be completely wrong. I could be completely right. I could be sort of right. You know, I could get the, you know, the teams in the right places, but not in the right positions, if that makes sense. I could get the right top four in the wrong order. I could get the right bottom three in the wrong order. You never know what could happen, but... <laughs> I'm sure at least some of these things might happen, uh, like which one in the Premiership or Brisbane uh, doing well in the finals. Things could happen, you know. Certain things could happen, but I could be I could be all wrong. You never know. Imagine Gold Coast in the finals. You know, it's, it, it's possible. You know, miracles are possible. 2020 was a crazy year. 2021 could be crazier. So uh, yeah, we shall see. Let me know what your predictions are down below. And uh, just remember, I'm watching, you know, Unless if, if you want to make the list, if you don't want to make the list, then I suggest you uh, don't do anything silly. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, end of the season, end of the season, I'll be looking at this video. I'll be looking at the comments, looking to see what you guys predicted for the season. We'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. All right. That's it for today. Goodbye.